The Hawaii Tourism Authority is awarding $2.9 million to 86 community-based projects, festivals, and events. Ilihia Jiansen, Public Affairs Officer at the Hawaii Tourism Authority, he joins us now with more. Good morning, Ilihia. Thank you so much for joining us. Hey, aloha, Chris. Mahalo for having me this morning. Awesome. It's our pleasure. Always good to see you guys here. So tell me, the Hawaii Tourism Authority has realigned its organization to focus on destination management. Can you tell us a bit about that? Sure. You know, for over 100 years, Hawaii has been marketed as a visitor destination. But our pivot, listening to our community, listening to the concerns, and looking at the impacts of the visitor industry on the community, we've pivoted to destination management. And it's an ongoing thing. And it involves stuff as big as changing from marketing to visitor education in our source markets. And here on the ground, that means reinvesting in the things that make our community strong, that make this a special place for us to live. And as a side effect, makes it a nice place for visitors to come visit. And that's great, and I couldn't agree more with this approach. So why was resuming this community enrichment program so important to the HTA? Yeah, you know, due to the pandemic, um, making it difficult to hold in-person events, and also the impacts to the visitor industry, the impacts to collections of transient accommodation tax, which at the beginning of the pandemic was how the HTA was funded, and all these different things, we paused the program uh, the community enrichment program last year. We know that many organizations, many events and festivals um, count on this funding every year to execute their programs. And so it was a really tough decision to make, uh, really tough. And we mahalo everyone on the ground in communities who kept these things going and brought them back to life again. And we're happy to be back in, supporting the good work of these 86 community-based projects, uh, $2.9 million in funding this year, and that's just in the community enrichment program. And that sounds great. Good to have you back, and great to see these projects on its way. So tell me, how did uh, these festivals and projects, how were they selected? Yeah, you know, certainly uh, there's so much demand for funding to assist community-based events and festivals like this, and so we engage the Hawaii Visitors and Convention Bureau to administer a uh, community enrichment program this year. Organizations submitted proposals through an RFP process uh, last fall to make sure that everybody had a fair shot at this funding. And so proposals were reviewed thoroughly by committees on each island comprised of representatives from that island. Uh, from the island chapter, the Visitors Bureau, from the county, and also from the Hawaii Tourism Authority. And we're really proud of the work that they did to select these 86 recipients. Very cool. So, can uh, Elihia, can you tell us a little bit about uh, some of the this year's recipients? Sure. Um, you know, let me first say that we think of tourism as this big monolithic thing, but really, Tourism is in so many parts of our community that it helps to drive the diversification of our economy. It's not just one thing, it drives many things. And so within the Community Enrichment Program, we're proud to support an array of festivals, events, and programs in areas like agriculture, culture, culinary arts, nature, education, health and wellness, sports, and even volunteerism. Couple examples, you know, happening right now. We have the Hawaii Triennial, the Kona Brewers Festival is coming up in March. Lahaina Quest has some cultural programs over on Maui. The Prince Kuhio Ho'olaulea also coming up to celebrate our Keli Imakainana, our citizen prince. All of that supported by the Community Enrichment Program. That sounds so great. It's so good to hear that the HTA is going forward uh, with this approach. And we've been talking with Elihia Johnson. Uh, thank you so much for all the, everything that you do and sharing all this information with us and our viewers. You have a wonderful day, sir. Mahalo nui. Take care. Aloha. Right on. Aloha to you.